G'day, Brian Johnson, um, Brian John. I'm just talking about the other day, showing you trading the broker's scalp, the trades we made, and using the broker's um, hedge and taking trades as it goes from profit loss profit. So without a, a, further, a further ado, I just want to go through uh, some of the things today with you as an individual to make a general recording of showing what I call, uh, first of all, that was printing money, and now we're going to discuss trading and some broad principles. Okay, well, so let's just go now. Okay, first of all, I want to show you, and we'll just quickly flip the screen up. Uh, this is a drawdown, and this is a, these are purely demo trades for training purposes only. First of all, we always should train, uh, trade, and learn controlling drawdown. So I just want to bring into mind some basic principles of this chart. This is a chart that was on the uh, Forex Factory and Brian John's thread. And we'll just go to the basic, uh, a basic template. There was Doji's door uh, join me. And we'll just uh, show you the broad outline and cover some brief points. First of all, we always want to know the uh, week the opening and close price of yesterday and the price where the price is in regard to the opening and close. So if the price is above the opening and close price of yesterday, the trend for the day will be up. You can see this quite clearly where the price goes above it. If it goes below, the trend is down and the price is up. These are boson lines which are basically um, Fibonacci in points and giving you the price. So when you're trading with Doji, you can use these points and understand it. This is just a small version of the big chart that we did before. So I can show you the monthly and the weekly closing prices. The pink is the monthly, the weekly. So the three points is if you're trading and the price is above the opening, close price of yesterday, of the opening price of yesterday, the trend for the day is up. It often returns to the closing price of last week's price, generally returns to the closing price of last week's at least three or four times during a week, but at least uh, it usually won't. So you always know if the price is going to be above the closing price, that sometime it's going to, the price is going to return to the closing price of last week's and sometimes reach the price of last month's close. Interesting three points. The close price of yesterday, the opening price of today, yesterday's uh, last week's closing price and last month's closing price. So always we can look at the price in regard to the Close price or opening price of today and see where your price is. If it's above that, it's going to be an up day. If it's below it, it's going to be a down day. 85% hit rate just based on the closing or yesterday or the opening price of today, you will get a, an incredible hit rate, 85%. So it's the, a major thing on the chart. We've condensed this version down. These are, um, are exact points where the price often returns and are really based on the Fibonacci retracement, which is a lot which Doji teaches in his class and the EMAs. So we're going to go back into the, uh, into the uh, template that I asked you to join me.
and uh, you can see that there with the Bosun prices, price of yesterday, and all you have to do is go down in your zoom out and you'll get prices. But this is the price that we use. So in there you have some basic information. If you zoom this down a little bit, you'll see your Bosun prices. You don't see the monthly on there, but you can see so by zooming down, you will see those prior those points. These points correspond to support and resistance based on Bosun's formulas that I did a, a, with friends, uh, great friends. We did a um, an indicator so you can put them on and see them. So really, they're just a, another way of looking at Fibonacci with the monthly and weekly closes. And and we come back to our original chart. On our chart is which you'll hear in uh, in Doji's talk of the moving averages, and we have on here uh, twenty. Fifty and the two hundred okay, these are the moving averages on the chart. You also have here three sets of indicators the Mac, the stall, and the EMA simply by uh, clicking on the indic uh, on the uh, indicator list and we look straight away to the signal. And you can see that you can set the max uh, and the EMAs to any setting you like. So automatically you have up there indicators in each time frame. The minute, 5 minutes, 15, the 30, the hour, uh, H4, and the daily moving average. So you have your time frames up there. You have your buy volumes and your sell volumes. And here you have your reward risk, which we will talk about in the coming trades. So there's one thing missing on this, and we'll put it on here now. And we'll put on simply the, uh, I don't know why that's missing. We'll put on the currency strength meter uh, so it stands out on a black. We'll alter those first three things. And later on, we'll get into printing money and showing you how easy it is to print money as one method of trading. Okay, we should redo that. Save template, and we're looking for this point here. I don't know how that happened. Okay, we're back to the original template, and that is just a brief outline that we showed you the bosun's lines. Yes, the price in relation to yesterday's close price. It should uh, always be above it if you're long, and below it if you, st you trade short. We've showed you the, the support and resistance lines, and all you have to do is zoom out to get greater detail. So we'll just once again just show you in zooming out, and you can see your monthly, weekly, etc. We're in the in these things. Okay, but basically we've only got the uh, weekly on. Okay, that's all for now. Uh, just an introduction for those that are going through the course and looking at, at uh, the trades that we made. This account started at 10,000 at this month and it's 17,000. Now, it, uh, I haven't been doing that much on it, but it, it goes to show you that one can trade using very simple methods, complicated background on them, but basically I'll show you this 
again later. Bye for now from Brian. <laughs>